No, it's not your fault, Fate. Isn't it, though? The Venditti came here for me! Who am I? Why do the Vendini want me so badly? Look! I know you know something! I have no idea what you're talking about. But those things... The Vendini... What are they? Time to come clean. Alright, you guys are part of this now anyway. Those guys, the Vendini, they... We've got trouble! Another one of those weapons has appeared in the sky! What? Damn! Is this too an arrow of Apris? Your Majesty, why are you still here? Please, you've got to get to a safe place right away! Lately, it seems that hiding does not help. Is anywhere truly safe now? You know what that thing is, do you not? Is it a weapon from Britain? No, it's not. Then what is it? What is a Vendini? The Vendini are after me. If they catch me, they'll leave. I'll explain, Your Majesty. The Vendini are... Hey! Come here a second. Damn! What now? I'll give myself up. Then they'll leave. Fate, no. That's enough of that. You say that again and I swear I'll smack you one! Cliff, calm down. Anger won't solve anything. But he's right, Fate. She's the one who's level-headed around here. Then what should we do? This country's military doesn't stand a chance against the Vendini ships. Hey, but you chased away the Vendini ship before. Why not do it again? Huh? But... it's as I thought. You don't remember a thing, do you? What are you talking about? Wait! Another one's coming! Cliff! Yup, it's them. Finally. Hey, took you long enough. Sorry. Yeah, well, hey, is it even safe to transport to a place like this? I scanned the situation before coming in, so I had a good idea what to expect. At least now that this planet's part of this mess, we don't have to hide anything anymore. True enough, but I bet you that Mr. Super Square Champion of the UP3 would disagree with you. Ha ha, very funny. Who's that girl? Uh, yeah, sorry. I'm slacking in my introductions. This here is the leader of Quark, Maria. What? I'm Maria Trador, but please call me Maria. 
Uh, uh, nice to meet you. I'm... I know who you are. Fate Lime God, the only son of the Universal Authority on Symbological Genetics, Professor Robert Lime God. Born on Earth, currently 19 years of age. Favorite sport? Basketball. Position? Point guard. Your favorite food is... Hang on just a second. How do you know so much about me? I did some research. What kind of research is that? Do you know a man's favorite sport? Is somebody going to explain this? What's going on? Who is she? How did she just appear here? So, I take it you're not all from Greeton after all. Come on, answer me. No more concealing the truth. That is enough, Lady Nell. But your majesty! I said that is enough. <laughs> yes, your majesty. I know not who you are, but it is certain that you are one of their acquaintances. I would hear an explanation of you now, one that makes sense to my ears. Please forgive my rudeness, your majesty. But would it be all right if we talked among ourselves first? We have a lot of catching up to do. I will explain all of the details and how the facts are connected afterwards. That I promise. So be it. Show them to the conference room. Yes, Your Majesty. Um, Miss Trador? Please, just Maria's fine. If I may call you Fate. Oh, all right then. Maria, please tell me what happened. Why did the Vendini capture my dad? Why are they after me? What is it about me that they're so interested in? Relax. There's no need to rush things, and there's much to explain. But first, his powers manifested, didn't they? They did, just once. He was stronger than expected. Particularly, his destructive capabilities are far beyond yours. And his memory? Nah, the whole thing was completely wiped from his mind. I see. What in the world are you guys talking about? Just a moment. First, I have some new information. It's not exactly good news. Man, this is a lot of its position. I hope I can cut it all for one video. You know that your father, Professor Leingod, was captured by the Vendini, right? Well, yeah. Yes. We have learned, after investigating the situation, that your friend Sophia was captured as well. <sighs> so Amina dies, and Sophia, now we hear from Sophia again. What? They grabbed her after the two of you escaped from the Hellera. They got Sophia? No! But what do the Vendini want with them? You really have no idea, do you? So tell me what's going on! Fine. Your father took it upon himself to carry out forbidden research. Forbidden research? That's right. He researched and designed a genetically modified living weapon. Forbidden by the laws of the Pan-Galactic Federation. My father? I can't believe it! Of course he didn't talk about it. Other than those involved, only the top levels of the Federation government knew anything. Then how come you know about it? I was one of his... guinea pigs. What? I'll never forgive them. My dad? I... I can't believe this! Living weapons? You? A guinea pig? You just look like an ordinary girl!
Exactly. Can't be mad at you. <laughs> Watch this. This is the power I received from the symbological genetic modifications that Professor Leingod and his lab performed on me. I possess the ability to manipulate the structure of matter. So, still think I'm an ordinary girl? But why would my father do such a thing? And not just to me. What? I wasn't the only one they modified. Another came before me. I was the second subject. What are you saying? Come on. The first subject was you. Me? The first subject? What are you talking about? My dad would never do something like that to me. Well, I can I know. understand if you don't believe me. Your power hasn't fully awakened yet. But if I'm not telling the truth, can you explain one thing for me? Who knocked that Vendini battleship out of the sky? Why are the Vendini so relentless in going after you, and everyone else related to the Line Gods? Everyone who was there knows the answers to these questions. Everyone but you, that is. Well... I know you don't want to admit it, but there's only one truth. I'm going to steal the Professor and everyone else back from the Vendini and ask him why he did what he did. But to do this, I need your help, Fate. I can't do it alone. Me? A weapon? She's gotta be crazy. I wouldn't expect you to object to saving your father and Sophia. I know how important they are to you. Of course I want to rescue them. They mean everything to me. All right, I'll help you. All right, now that we're decided... <laughs> Nell! It doesn't matter if she heard us. So how are we getting off this rock? I made arrangements. I came in a small ship to avoid the Vendini. The Diplo will be arriving later. Everything else is up to Marietta's skills. Your preparations are thorough as always. Yes, well, we still have a lot of problems to deal with. That's right. Even if your ship can make it, how do we know the Vendini won't interfere? Right. Entering orbit, transporting, and warping out will take a total of five minutes. Even our flagship will have trouble withstanding five minutes of concentrated fire from the Vendini. Exactly. The ideal solution would be to create some diversion from the ground as well. But, with the technology available on this planet, that will be difficult. Still, we must think of something. If only fate could control his power. Even I can't completely control my power. Oh boy, I'll be right back. Alright everyone, looks like we're back. Back in action. Either way, we need a sure thing if we're going to pull this off. Mirage, what's the strongest and most effective weapon on this planet? I'm not saying we need to use it to break through the Vendini shield. All we'd need to do is buy some time while they reevaluate our military capabilities. Hmm. Our best option is Aquaria's runological weapons. Hey, 
What about Dion's weapon? You mean the Thunder Arrow? That's the one. I don't know how much damage it could do to the Vendini battleship, but as far as I know, it's the most powerful weapon on this planet. All right. Then let's start making preparations immediately. The thing is, it's still under development. It's not ready for actual combat. And I doubt its range is long enough to reach the Vendini ship. In any case, the weapon belongs to Aquaria. We can't just use it as we please. The Vendini. You mean the ones from before? That's right. They're coming back? There's no doubt of that. And you need our Thunder Arrow to fight them. That's about the size of it. All right. I'll talk to the Queen about it. Huh? Are you sure? Honestly, I don't really understand the situation. One thing I do know, if that Celestial ship comes back again, it will cause another catastrophe. And I believe that the two of you are worthy of my trust. Thank you. Regardless, we did promise the Queen that we'd explain the situation to her. I don't think she'll be as easy to convince. Your Majesty, they said they would explain the situation. Very well. You say you're from another world. You ask us to believe this. Nonsense. Stop wasting Her Majesty's time. Silence the cell. Your Majesty. I understand your surprise. But what we speak is the truth. This is quite sudden, not to mention quite difficult to believe. However, recent events in our country leave me with no choice but to believe. Your Majesty, these people can be trusted. I believe they are telling the truth. And you say this new enemy will return again? Why would that be? I think that I am their objective. So, you are the cause of this entire affair? I don't want to believe it myself, but yes. Then all we have to do is hand you over to them. Then they will go home, no? Lasselle, you are to remain silent. Your Majesty. Can we fight these Vendini with our Thunder Arrow? I can't be sure, but I believe so. The Thunder Arrow would divert the Vendini long enough for us to leave the planet, and fix this situation. For the sake of our country, it might indeed be best to simply hand you over to them. However, you are our guest. It would not be proper for us to abandon you now. Your Majesty, you mean... Yes. We shall let you use the Thunder Arrow. Your Majesty, thank you very much. We are grateful, Your Majesty. Yeah, but what are you gonna do about the range problem? It's not much good to us if we can't reach them. Yeah, I know. We've got a problem! Watch your tone. You were in the presence of Her Majesty the Queen. Someone has infiltrated Kadan. What? Who? It was one of those celestial ships, Your Majesty. They landed right next to the shrine. We believe they're headed for the sacred orb. 
The Sacred Orb? They wear a strange kind of armor and are equipped with weapons that emit glowing beams of light. The Runologists have them stopped for the moment, but they can't do anything against those weapons! At this rate, they'll be at the Sacred Orb in no time. Glowing weapons. Those would be disruptor rifles. They must be remnants of the Vendini fleet. If that's the case, why are they going after the orb instead of us? What's Kadan and what's the sacred orb? Kadan is the holy land of our church. It's where the sacred orb is enshrined, a mysterious sphere that emits the purest light. Holy water flows freely from it. It is said that in the hands of Aquarius' ruler, the orb is capable of all kinds of miracles. The waters of this lake which surround Aquios are also of the sacred orb. Hmm. Your Majesty, which way is Kadan? To the east of Aquios. I see. Interesting. What in the world? What is it? I'm picking up an energy reading in the location you described that is too technologically advanced for this planet. It's even beyond our ability to identify. What? It may be a so-called out-of-place artifact, or OPA. I bet the Vendini detected this sacred orb while they were searching for us. So you think they're after the sacred orb? It's the most likely explanation. If you look back at history, anyone who got their hands on OPAs acquired incredible power. It would pretty much go without saying they'd want it. That's terrible! We can't let them steal our sacred orb. Your Majesty, we must send soldiers immediately. Yes. Take your unit and make for Kadan at once. Your Majesty. Please, wait a moment, Your Majesty. We are sorry, but we must attend to your business later. Responding to these thieves at Kadan must take precedence. That's what I'm saying. I don't think Aquarius military could stand up to them with their current equipment. We are aware of this, but we cannot let them steal the sacred orb. Look, I'll go to Kadan. What are you thinking? It's my fault the Vendini ever came here in the first place. I have to accept responsibility somehow. Hey, wait a second. You mean we, right? You planning on going there alone? He's right. Going alone would be suicidal. If you die, then I've come here for nothing. I'm going too. Thank you. Very well. Then we shall leave it to you. Your Majesty, I'll go with them as well. Yes, please do. As the situation is grave, we give you permission to use the sealed cavern. Show them the way. The sealed cavern? Yes, it is a place in which only members of the royal family are allowed. But I'm making an exception. Do not fail us. Your Majesty,
Okay. We proceed. Say hey, there's monsters out there. Anyway, I think this would be a good time to stop the video. I know it'll be gone uh, for a long time now. Um, I'm actually looking up several clips of, of this particular episode, so it's gonna be some heavy editing, editing involved, as you may have already seen at the time this video went out. Um, if you like what you've seen, don't forget to like and subscribe, and tell your friends about it. So, uh, Thank you. Have a good day.